activists in our state who work through an organization called Plant for the Planet. Plant for the Planet is an international organization driven by 51,000 youth ages 8 to 18 in 193 countries. These climate justice ambassadors facilitate climate presentations, work on campaigns like the Starbucks We Need a Better Cup campaign, testify at Olympia hearings, speak with elected officials, and at churches and rallies. Please w welcome two representatives of Plant for the Planet Pacific Northwest. Adonis William Williams, and I really don't want to be here giving a speech because I want to be able to be a kid. I want to be able to have fun. I want to be able to do all the things that everybody else my age gets to do, but I can't. Because if I did, I would be standing idly by and resigning my future to one of destruction. Where our life support systems didn't have enough life to support themselves. So I'm part of a case suing the Washington state government on the premise... on the premise that they have an obligation to protect the land, air, and water for future generations. The purpose of this case is to get the Washington state government to force the Washington state government to make rules and regulations that will get our state emissions down to, to help reach the global goal of 350 carbon dioxide molecules in the atmosphere per million, parts per million. parts per million. How about you how about you all just say it with me? Okay, there we go. 350 parts per million. 350. 350. 350. Not 450 as most of our gr green senators and representatives have been maintaining. How about you say that with me too? Not 450. Not 450. <laughs> and it makes me really happy to see this many people here. Because it shows that you all care. And in a movement as big as this one is, you really, really need people who care. There's only one problem with the amount of people we have here. How many of you walked to the place where the march started? How many of you biked to the place where the march started? How many of you took the bus or light rail? How many of you drove? Electric cars! <laughs> I was very surprised about the amount of people who took the bus. And that also makes me very happy. But for those people who didn't, and I'm not saying you're a terrible, awful people, and not being like, shame on you, you awful individuals. I'm saying that if even if you don't necessarily have to constantly 
always never drive. That made no sense. <laughs> but you, we, we as, as individuals have to make a constant conscious effort to be doing our best to reduce our emissions. <laughs> be doing our best to be the best people that we can be. To do the best that we can for ourselves and for future generations. Thank you, here's Tim.